Welcome back to TLU Singles Tournament Round 2. This is, uh, I think, the last match we have for this one. It's whatever the fuck you're doing. Uh, I'm in Philadelphia. Don't this me. is my co-host, uh, the one and only Mr. JPO. How you doing today? Howdy ho. Uh, excited to be here. Definitely looking forward to this one. Yeah. Uh, we got Jake Marangoni versus Alex Martinez. I hope I got that right. I feel like I'm going to be terrible if I do. I'm going to back you, but not confidently. He's not giving me a thumbs up at the backstage. So I'll assume I got that right. He, I got it. Cool. Great. Yeah, I knew it. That could have gone so badly anyway. They're going to have a match, and they're going to see who wins. This is going to be fun. I've done this before. With that being said, we will actually bring on the man we were talking about, Alex Martinez, and his manager, Mr. Joe. How's it going, boys? Been good. Yeah. yeah. It was the 13th day. Of Pride Month, and uh, my a casual acquaintance, John and I don't really know each other that well, uh, sent me a link to uh, get destroyed in a trivia game right before I fall asleep. But don't worry, I'm already in pretty good sleeping conditions. These uh, these look fancy, but they're actually sweatpants, kind of. <laughs> and then the jacket's just gonna come off. I'm not sleeping in this. It's hot. Cool. How are you? Uh yeah, all right. Uh Joe, how you how you feeling about, how you feel about your client's chances here? I mean, uh Alex is coming in expecting to lose. Uh he did this last match and uh he ended up uh KOing Kirk. So uh who knows, maybe it happens uh again if, if luck is on our side. I have faith in Alex. He might not have faith in himself, but I think he, he can contend in this match for sure. I love it. The lowered expectations approach, you know what I mean? Go, oh, I don't think I'm gonna do good, and they get it every time. I like it. And it's funny, for the 13th day of Pride Month, all I got was a burger for Burger King with just bottom buns only. So, uh, <laughs> with that being said, we're going to drop Joe to the back, and uh, we're going to bring in his opponent, Jake Marangoni, and his manager, Cody Newberry. Boys, hey, Joe. Great. Pretty good. Great. Um, yeah, I drafted Jake because Jake's been the person across all trivia that's been with me the longest, besides the person who went to the scrub down. So I hope Jake does well. Um, Knowing that Alex KO'd Kirk, which was my back and forth pick before I drafted Jake and Mark, I guess I made the right call. But if Jake loses here, I made the worst call and should have drafted Alex. So at that point, you know, who knows? But uh, Jake gets to answer Spider-Man questions today. So that's exciting for us. So that's all that matters. There's no pressure whatsoever if I yeah. miss. Yeah, definitely not. He'll look be, like a total idiot uh, if he misses any of them. Sleep. But he gets to answer Spider-Man questions, which is all he looks forward to in life at this moment. So yeah, should be a good match. And I need to play Alex, who I, who I love. I think he's great. So yeah, it should be a fun time. All right, with that, I'm going to drop uh, Mr. Newberry to the back and go over the quick rules of round one. Round one's going to work like this. It's going to be a whiteboard round. You are going to get eight questions. Uh, they are going to be rapid fire, about 10 seconds between each question. Uh, when we go through, uh, we'll give you a quick minute. So you'll write all your answers consecutively on your board. Uh, at the end of the round, uh, if you would like to use a repeat, we will give you an extra 20 seconds. And if you would like one of the questions repeated, please let us know. And we will do that at the end. Any questions before we get started? No. no? And the traditional three repeats in a challenge. Cool. All right. With that. We will get into question number one, which comes in the category of fantasy. What is the subtitle to the second Highlander film? Spoiler word, it is not dog shit. So, so I guess there can only be one doesn't refer to the franchise. because It just refers to the quality of movies. Yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and him with question two. Question two, in recent releases, in what 2022 film will you find a criminal organization Called the Vicious Six. They 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 sound super polite and lovely. Uh, with that said, we're gonna get into question three, which comes in the twenty tens. What branch of the armed forces is Logan a member of in the Lucky One? Lucky, unlucky. I've no, I, I have no idea what that movie is. So it's fine. So, yeah. All right. Cool. You want to hit him with uh, question four? In live action Spider Man in Spider Man Two, what specific isotope feels Octavius's reactor? My 
favorite live action Spider Man movie? Am I basic? I don't give a would agree. Yeah, would I agree. mean, it's, it's flawless. All right. Your next question will come in the category of movie release dates. What year saw the release of Rushmore? Solid, solid flick from, from that person who I won't name because I don't want to give <laughs> shit away. Because I will I do agree, that. I will fuck this right up. That one. Yep. All right. Let's get into question number six. And directors, what was the last film to date that was directed by Ang Lee? You know what Ang Lee movie I loved? It was that one movie. It was fucking awesome. The one after is better. I fuck it. That's bold, bold choice. All right, we'll the debate words. later. All right. Uh, your pen ultimate question will come into the category of the 2000s. In what U.S. state does Chris die in in Into the Wild? Spoilers if you haven't seen that. Jeez. Two uh, thousands, twenty years. I think the I fuck it. It's it's, it's the time. window closed. Okay. It's also well, a good true story. So. Oh well, there you go. All right. Well, also that. Let's hit him with the Not final question of round number Reed. one. And the DCEU, who plays Hawkman in Black Adam? Quality film right there. And by quality, I mean piss poor. So, and chance to use a repeat is going to end in five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. All right. No repeats. So uh, we'll go through each of your boards one by one. I'm going to start with Jake, if you want to show me all your answers. Okay. So I have The Quickening. I didn't know number two. Uh, number three, I said Army. Four, I said Tritium. Five, 98. Six, Gemini Man. Seven, Alaska. And seven, Aldous Hodge. All right, and Alex, if you could show me your board, let's go through that as well. I said one Endgame, Bullet Train, Marines, Tritium, 2012, Hulk. That's for you, Jake. Aldous Ho- uh, excuse me, Alaska and Aldous Hodge. All right, and with that being said, I have a score of Jake six, Alex four. I have, have well. yeah. All right, cool. We'll run through the answers real quick. Uh, the subtitle to Highlander 2 is The Quickening. Uh, the t- t- 2022 film, which features the criminal organization, The Vicious Six, is Minions Rise of Gru. So we're all fantastic Shame for missing that, for all, that. All horrible <laughs> shit. Uh, Logan is a member of the Marines and the Lucky One. Uh, Trinium <sighs> is the isotope that fuels Octavius' reactor. Uh, 98 was the release of Rushmore. Uh, Gemini Man was the last film directed by Ang Lee. Alaska is where Chris dies in Another Wild. And Aldous Hodge plays Hawkman. So with that being said, we will get into round two. Round two is your typical wheel round. We all know how these work. You get you guys drafted it. There's a bunch of different categories. Uh, you will get a chance to spin. Uh, get one spin. If you don't like it, you can spin again. Uh, but you will keep whatever you get. And let me pull it up on my screen so I can see what I'm doing. So the uh, categories you guys drafted are Jake's strength of live action Spider-Man. And I imagine Alex's strength of DCEU. We also have directors, recent releases, 2010s, movie release dates, 2000s, and fantasy. So with that being said, Jake, since you are in the lead, I'm going to bring in your manager, Mr. Newberry. Uh, would you like to spin first or defer? What do you think? So, rule for thought, um, I'm afraid that look, are, we suck with the wheel. Our wheel's never really nice to us. <laughs> um, like I feel like Alex goes, lands on live action Spider-Man and gets the questions and you get up. That's how I feel like this is going to end up going. But I'm okay with letting him spin if you think, because I, you know, knowing our luck, we'll spin first and get a opponent's choice and get something we don't want. So either way. Yeah, yeah I'm cool uh, going second. Let's defer. We'll go second. I'll regret okay. this decision in three seconds. <laughs> Manager of the year. Totally fine. So, all right, with that being said, I'm going to drop Screw either way. Good luck. luck. And with that being said, uh, Alex, if you're ready, here's your first spin. I'm worried. And it lands on movie release dates. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Nah. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> spinning <laughs> away. Yeah, I was spin nah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you were going to keep whatever this lands on. All right. It is uh, It well, is fate for you to have movie release dates. So. Well, meant to be. All right. All right. I'm going to drop Joe to the back. Oh, sorry. Wow. You were set. You mid sentence. Sorry. Check down if you need to. Just work through it. Yep. 
Cool. All right. Uh, JPO, I hate this fucking category. You want to read these? <laughs> I don't love it any much better, but sure, I got you. Uh, your first question, cool. movie release dates. What year saw the release of a Fast and Furious film, a Tomb Raider film, and an Underworld film? Let's go multiple choice. Your options are A, 2001, B, 2003, C, 2017, D, 2018. Could I hear the whole question again, a full repeat? All righty, yes. Got to repeat there. Full repeat. The question is, what year saw the release of a Fast and Furious film, a Tomb Raider film, and an Underworld film? Your options are A, 2001, B, 2003, C, 2017, D, 2018. I'll go 2018. You can steal, right? Yep, yep, All it's right. incorrect. So, Jake, chance to steal. Uh, do I give him the question and then you give him the you give him the options? Your options are A, two thousand one, B, two thousand three, C, twenty seventeen, D, twenty eighteen. Two thousand three. That is correct for a steal. Yes, Too Fast and Furious, Crate of Life, and Underworld. Okay. Going to your second question now. How many years separate the original Three Ten to Yuma? From its remake. Brutal. Uh, multiple choice. I saw that coming. All right. Options are A, 30, B, 40, C, 50, D, 60. Uh, 50. That is correct. Uh, all right, 50 points. Or not 50 points. 50 is the right answer. <laughs> uh, question number three for you. What year saw the release of Basquiat? Basquiat. Uh, what's going on? Multiple choice. <laughs> for Basquiat, you have A, 1993, B, 1994, C, 1995, D, 1996. Ninety-three. We'll go over to Jake for a potential steal here. A nineteen ninety-three, B nineteen ninety-four, C nineteen ninety-five, D nineteen ninety-six. Nineteen ninety-six. That is correct for a steal. Nineteen ninety-six. All right, your penultimate question here: What year saw two films released by Wes Craven in the same year? Multiple choice. Your options for that are A, 1988, B, 1997, C, 2005, D, 2010. 97. Going over to Jake for that one point steal. The options are A, 1988, B, 1997, C, 2005, D, 2010. 2005. And that is, again, a steal. Cursed and Red Eye came out that year from Craven. Your final question here. What year saw the release of Drugstore Cowboy? You're just making stuff up at this point. Multiple choice. Real movie in your real years are A, 1987, B, 1988, C, 1989. D, 1990. That does sound like some 80s bullshit. I'll go 89. Hey, that gets you a point. 89 yes. is correct. Some 80s bullshit. All right. All right. So with that, uh, Al can do up to six, but with the seals, Jake is up to nine. All right. With that being said, I will bring back the wheel and bring in Jake's manager. Jake, remember when you said, are you sure you want to put that on the wheel? And I said, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'll never doubt you ever again. No. Gotcha. All right. Well, here we go. Your first spin. That was devil's category right there. 
All right. And it lands on the 2000s. Would you keep that or spin again? I like to look. You want to keep that? Yeah. Okay. Like, what do you reckon? Do you think I, I mean, I, 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 I don't like my viewpoint is if you were not comfortable with it, this wheel, everything else left on the wheel, I think you're totally comfortable in. So, right. But yeah, at but that I, point, I if you're comfortable in 2000, so let's just run it. Yeah. All right. All right. Drop that. With that, drop Cody to the back. And if you just give me a second, I will find the questions for 2000s. That is all the way on the other side here. Okay. Mr. Marangoni, if you're ready for your 2000s questions. All right. In Dodgeball, a true underdog story, who plays a younger version of Patches in the Dodgeball instructional video shown to the average Joes? Hank Azaria. That's correct. Two points. All right. Your next question. We Were Soldiers takes place primarily during what war? Uh, the Vietnam War. That's correct. Two points. All right. Your next question. Who directed The House of the Devil? Hmm. Ty West. That's correct. Two more points. All right. Your penultimate question. In Requiem for a Dream, what prompts Harry's mother, Sarah, to try and lose weight? She's going to be on television. I didn't even accept that. Yeah. All right. For two points. So here's the stitch. Uh, if Jake gets this for any point value, he will win. If Alex steals it for two, he is still alive. So with that being said, your final question in the category of the 2000s. How does Hannah die in The Reader? Can you answer in five, four? Uh, I'll go multiple just because I have no clue. Okay. Uh, your multiple choice options are A, hangs herself, B, executed by a gas chamber, C, throws herself in front of a car, or D, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. That is incorrect. Alex, oh. chance for a one point steal. Your options are A, hangs herself, B, executed by a gas chamber, C, throws herself in front of a car, or D, tuberculosis. Fucking depressing. Um, Gas chamber. And your winner, by way of knockout, Jake Marangoni. Uh, she hung herself just to bring the mood down even more. So uh, with that being said, on. <laughs> I'm going to uh, drop Jake to the back and bring in uh, Alex's manager. Uh, it's a tough one. You know, um, you, you were real close. I mean, it was like two points separating in round one and round two. Just was a category that is just, uh, well, it can be rough. So. Yeah, we've all felt that pain from that wheel. Oh, I don't even want to tell you about that fucking category. How, how you doing? I feel fine. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought there was more to that sentence. Yeah, no. no. Um, okay. <laughs> we, uh, like we said, Alex didn't really have high expectations, um, but he was still competitive throughout. He was... It was he was Jake was only ahead three points going into his questions and he just swept the category and that's how the cookie crumbles. Jake played amazing and was able to eke out Alex. Alex got a category that he wasn't that comfortable with in round two, and it was just the hand he was dealt and he worked with it the best he could. It just wasn't enough tonight. Yeah, when they start making up movies, you just can't. Yeah, when I feel like he was. <laughs> was I'm gonna be honest with you. Theory. I feel like he probably like Basquiat. It's it's actually a real good movie. Uh, David Bowie. Yeah, totally knew plays, how to pronounce uh, that. What's his name? Oh my god! Is it, is it Basquiat? No shit! It's that artist. God, Andy Warhol couldn't come to me real ah. fast. So yeah, which is an excellent choice. So cool. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. C congrats, Jake. Uh, good job. With that being said, uh, going forward, uh, you're one and one, which is respectable. So you got a clean slate. Who would you like to? Who would you like to play if you could? 
I'll be honest, I don't really know who all plays in this league. I didn't realize. I think everybody um, on camera except for Joe right now. Yeah. Um, I think, well, yeah, I, I'm i I'm undefeated against Bill. Probably just run that one back. Oh, challenge, Bill, challenge. You're on the same faction. I know. Yeah, who fucking cares, man? I don't know. <laughs> Fair we, enough. Cats and dogs living together, mass hysteria. Uh, Alex, Joe, always a pleasure, both of you. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to drop you to the back and bring in our winner, Jake Marangoni. Jake. Fabulous performance, as always. So, how you doing? Killer round two. Yeah. Cody, you want to take the win? Oh, great. I mean, exactly how we want it. Uh, we feel like we let down the people. We wanted to answer Spider-Man questions. We didn't get a chance to answer any Spider-Man questions. So that's you got that sucks. one in round one. There was one of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We asked one. Um, listen, Jake's really good. Jake's really good. Um, he has a lot of knowledge up there. We were deciding like whether to <clears throat> to um, put movie release dates or not there. And I said he's like, I'm probably a little rusty on it. I was like, You're probably better than Alex, and as long as that fuck face of a category exists. We should use it to our advantage at times because everybody that does, everybody that hates that category is really, really bad. And, and the people that are good, we just avoid it. But overall, uh, it worked out in our advantage. 2000s hit. It was like all the stuff that's inside uh, <laughs> Jake's brain besides the reader and how that person dies. But overall, great match from him. Um, we have to pick a different strength now, since, even though we didn't get to use it. But it's been the back, you know, he's able to pull it back in another match after that. I think he can go pretty far in this tournament if he just keeps going, you know, his way. So, yeah. yeah. Alex is a great not- player. Jack Pinchuk sucks. I want that on the record. I didn't say that at the front. Jack Pinchuk, he's Noted. not here. He does suck. Just I do that love that, like, Noted. you will need to invoke that man's name even when he is not actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wore a top hat in the match. He sucks, like, really bad. He stole a third grader's top hat. Um, but it sucks. Uh, not nice. Jay- Jake, how are you feeling? I feel good. No, I'm, I was sort of like, you know, uncertain how this new league and format was going to go and like give it a try and see how it goes. So, um, no, I, I had fun. Um, I think Alex is a, a great player regardless of this uh, this loss. Um, and I would like to see him come back and like, I, I want to see that match against Kurt because that's a drop as far as when we record this. So, I'm very, yeah, very looking forward to seeing that. But uh, no, I feel good. Uh, it was, I felt confident with, uh, with 2000s and uh, yeah. It was, it's good to get back in the, to the trivia sort of like this. Um, Speaking of matches that haven't dropped, uh, your round three <laughs> opponent will be one Mr. Payson Johnson. How you, how you feel about that? Can I have someone else? Is that what I'm can, can he spin again on his opponent? <laughs> yeah, can I just a wheel, spin it, and then... Can you do that, actually? Sufferable. He's managed by Mike. He'll be fine, but he'll sit there and be like, "Oh, oh, I think I know the answer. Oh, it's good." I'm like, listen, he's he's got so much trivia in his brain. He's great at that, but man, is he annoying to play against? I just hope Jake beats him. But if he doesn't, then I'll hear about it for a while. God, <sighs> anybody else? Can he can really he feel though. Can he forfeit? Like, is that an option? Like, <laughs> not get a loss? I just want to show him. I don't know, actually. We haven't implemented yeah. it. There are no rules as far as that You goes. all decide and let maybe us we'll know. Do like a, it may be worth it. Maybe we'll do a it. sports thing and just reseed. I don't know. Oh, I like it. Uh, but yeah, Payson, bring it on. Yeah, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon, Payson. Oh. All right. Pleasure as always. Thank you both. Uh, JPL, put a, put, a, put a bow on it. Uh, I can't physically, but I will try emotionally. Metaphorically, both. Really, really good match here. You know, like you said, you just never know how the wheel's going to get you. But Jake really did dominate and know all his stuff in round two. I mean, that was just a tremendous sweep up to that last one. Fun match. I look forward to seeing more from both these competitors here. If Jake keeps kind of having the knowledge and a little bit of luck, he could go very far. Yeah, and who doesn't always enjoy a good Alex match? So, man's a gem. Just Absolutely. So, always a pleasure to have uh, both of here. Yeah. So with that being said, I have been your host, Bill Delvia. This is JPO on behalf of Jake Marangoni, Alex Martinez, and Joe and Cody and everybody else. Uh, I want to thank you for coming out. Buy our shit, as uh, I am contractually obvious to say, here at the video store. And with that being said, we will see you later. Uh, hit the button, Frank. <laughs> <laughs>